Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kevtech here bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over um, Windows 10 credentials credentials hacking. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. So today I want to go over um, uh, why it's important not to, <laughs> not to store your credentials on your computer uh, and what, what can happen if you store credentials on your computer. Why is that important? So a lot of people that are hackers or try to get into try to break into your computer. This is the reason why it's important that you don't have admin rights. That's number one. Uh, number two is important that you don't store it, you don't store your password on your computer through credentials manager because these hackers can get on your computer. Number three is this is why it's important that you have a strong um antivirus software. Um and if if there's no antivirus software, you're in trouble. But you, I mean, I'm I'm gonna show you like an example of a, of a real life product that someone has used in the past. Obviously, there have been patches, so it's not gonna it's not gonna work right now unless you allow it. But I'm gonna show you hypothetically what happens if you do allow it. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen with you. So go to screen one. Yeah. So this is my Windows 10 machine. Um. There are there are a couple ways to attack credentials manager, but before I go into uh, uh, doing any sort of attack, I want to show you what credentials manager is, just in, as a general idea. So basically, um, if you work in IT or if you work in IT land, specifically IT, this is where our passwords get stored. So you can see here, there's a password called Dave, and then there's there's Dave here, the username, and this password is here. And this is his password to log into this computer. So one thing that we try to avoid is having our credentials cache on the op on the operating system because uh, if someone gets on this computer, Dave is, Dave is a power user. He has admin rights. It's just hypothetical, right? So someone like me that knows about applications and products, I will literally go here. And, and this is a website, uh, and this is called uh, Dumping Windows dumping credentials dumping basically what you do is windows credentials manager and you could dump and do some sort of attack and there are these are this is literally where the credentials are stored so like if you go into here and you do run and we're going to run here and we do percent sign um i'm going to do percent sign app percent sign um sorry we're going to do percent sign and we're gonna do let's just do system drive and then we're gonna go into users and we're just gonna navigate to that folder david and you know david's right there um, obviously you can't see the folder so we're gonna go into app data and then we're gonna go into local then we're gonna go into microsoft then we're gonna go into credentials so this is this is empty right but with this product that we have, we could we could figure out what the password is. So there's this thing called credentials file viewer. So if I go and download it and I run it, uh wrong one, sorry, uh this one, and I run it, it's gonna get blocked by default because Microsoft is smart. They're like, yes, you're not gonna attack us, get out of here. So if you go here, right? Um, let's just run it for, for today to show you what happens. Um, and I'm gonna allow it. And obviously, this person has admin rights, so he could he could do whatever the hell he wants, right? So literally, if you go here and run it, and it says it, immediately, like it says, don't run. If you do more info, you could run anyway. And there's something really cool that, that I was looking at. And if you do decrypt decryption decrypt credentials files of the current user requires to run as administrator, and you hit OK. Um, and then if you do run anyway. And you have admin rights, obviously. So this is where you, you figure out what the password is because you want to log into this computer, right? And the password is right there. Literally, if you see this is welcome one, the hashes are right there. Information is very interesting. So if you go to the right-hand side, it says right there, password welcome one. And it literally tells you like, okay, so this person is under app data, this file path is under app data, roaming. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna go here, we're gonna go to users, we're gonna go to David. You can't see that folder. We're gonna go to app data. 
We're going to go to roaming. We're going to go into Microsoft. We're going to go into credentials. And you're like, what? Well, I don't see anything. So let me see if we can go into view, hidden items, hidden extensions, item boxes. We try to get everything in there and go into view and go hide extensions from known types. We're going to just show everything and see what happens. And apply. And there's still nothing there, which is very interesting. So go back to app data. And we're going to go into file extensions, options, view, show hidden files, uh, hidden hide extensions, hide folder mer merger complex. Hide protected operating system files. Yes. We're going to go here. Show everything. Display the full path. Just like to, like to play around with this. So we're going to go here. We're going to go here. We're going to go here. There it is. All right. So this file is right there. Um, 02. 02D. It's the same name if you see it right there, right? It's the same file type. 63D, 63D. So this this is what this is why it's important that you protect your computer at all times. And you know, we don't have admin rights, and you don't have this person like na 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 na. He's just walking on your computer, and just logs in and does whatever the hell he wants, you know. Um, if you right click here, you could copy the select, you could copy the selected item. Um, you can do HTML report all items. You can do properties, and it gives you more information about it. It tells you what it is. And this version runs on Vista 7, 8, and 10. Uh, decryption size 138, domain password. It's targeting a user. The username is Dave. Uh, password is welcome one. And then the user is C David App Data Microsoft Credentials 426. Modified at 521. So this is the last time he changed his password. Because I had to log in as Dave, and you know your password is only good for a certain amount of time. It doesn't expire, so I changed my password on 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 521 2023. And here, if you go here, there's nothing here. It just says generic, generic, generic. It says generic target. You see Teams is right there. Teams is right there again. So this is this is Teams, um, and it's all this other information. So yeah, that's why it's important that you be careful with what you do on your computer. You go to properties, find exit. Um, credentials here. You could you could go into this one, decrypt this one. Um, here you pick David, you hit OK. Um, it just gives you that information again. So this is why it's important that you you be careful with what you store on your computer. I'm gonna stop sharing. So yeah, that, that's 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 you could do you could also run um Kali Linux and you could run Metasploit and you could run um a certain attacks like mini mini cats which I'm not going to show. I'm not going to show you guys how to do that today, but I do want to make a video on Minicats on Active Directory and Active Directory attacks at some point. But I wanted to show you that, you know, you should be careful with what you do on your computer. Uh, that's trying to avoid, you know, um, you know, harvesting credentials and, and cache attacking or, or actually Active Directory attacks and, you know, just storing your passwords and stuff like that. It's very dangerous um, stuff. And also there's password spraying, which I'll probably go over at some point. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Have a good one. Take care. Peace. Bye.